Hi, names and g'day. We're at uh, Harrisdale today. Something about Harrisdale and barbecues is probably about the fourth or fifth call out we've had this season about bees and a barbecue. So we're out in Harrisdale and we've got a Weber, small Weber barbecue. So we'll go ahead and um, see what we've got inside. Three, two, one. Oh, that's a gorgeous hive. Look at that. Wow. That's just perfect the way that it's just. Those, those comb sections are just perfectly parallel and. I reckon they've got an engineer in there, isn't it? Yeah, no doubt. That's nice. So we'll cut the comb out, uh, place it into a box, keep a keen eye for the uh, queen at all times and um, take my way to another property where there can be bees. I'll just get sting to the eye, not fun, but these guys are gentle. Um, got a nice piece of comb there, haven't found the queen yet but I'm making progress with this hive. Coming towards the end of the removal, uh, you can see all the bees bearding up the top of the barbecue there. When there's no, nowhere else to go, all their combs gone, they kind of just cluster up together. And uh, I guess that's one way for them to feel safe somehow, but um, I've slowly gone through that clump of bees and um, sure enough, lucky enough to find Queen Bee again. Woohoo, really happy with that. She's a nice queen. So, extremely happy with that. Place her in the box. And, um, leave the box here overnight perhaps, and uh, come and collect them either later tonight or tomorrow sometime, and we've got a new hive, let's do it. Queen's caged, so it's just a matter of getting these guys in the box. Handfuls at a time, there's a fair amount of bees here. Those guys there on the floor would work their way up eventually. The smell right now is incredible. They're putting out a lemongrassy smell, which is an orientating pheromone which is indicating to the rest of the bees that hey we've got a new location we need to resettle into this new location which is this box here what I'll do is uh, before I leave I'll um, place this box up into the barbecue here and then they can settle in uh, where it was nice and close to the original uh, hive so it wouldn't be too hard for them to reorientate haven't got too many stings but I did cop one to the face, which wasn't nice, so I've got the valve back on. People wonder why I do it without a veil. It's because with the veil, it's hard to see. Number one. Number two, it's extremely hot, uncomfortable. So if the bees are gentle, I mean, you know, why make it, why make it difficult? So... We're almost done. There we are. Another one brought to you by Hoagland Honeybees, where interaction with the bees is most important and the honey is but a bonus. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.